Have you ever wondered how you can create AI agents, chatbots, voice agents across multiple platforms that can get access to information right within Go High Level? Well, today I'm gonna to be talking to you about High Level's Model Context Protocol Server, or an MCP server. This is what allows you to build AI agents that get access to all of the information within your High Level sub account. That's right, you can do this, it is possible, it is really cool, and today we're gonna to be going through each step necessary in order to do this, and I'm also going to be building an agent with you on OpenAI. That's right, you can do this and it is absolutely awesome. So I'm gonna be showing you step-by-step step how to configure your MCP server with high level. It's super simple. So without further ado, let's dive right in. Now in this video, we're gonna be going back and forth through three different pages. This is going to be the help doc, which is going to give us a little bit of information, including some code that we'll need in order to set up our high level MCP server. We're also going to be using OpenAI's platform. We can get access to this by going to platform.openai.com. This is essentially how you can create an upgraded version of ChatGPT. One that can use APIs and get access to platforms and do everything that we need to do with high level. And then we're also going to be functioning inside of our agency itself. And we are in a sub account here. Now, before we dive in, let's talk about the available tools right now through high levels MCP server. In the help doc, we have a list of all of these tools, everything from getting calendar event. In the help doc, we have a list of all of these tools, everything from getting information about our calendars and appointments. We can access tasks, tags, update contacts, create contacts, find conversations, find and send new messages, get custom fields, get pipelines, update opportunities, and everything in between. You can see a full list here, and I'm sure there will be many more to come. This means that using this, we can do things like send emails using AI outside of high level or create and update contacts using voice agents that we've built on Claude or OpenAI. There's seriously so many possibilities here, which is why I'm so excited to dive into this. So let's keep going. Now, the first thing we're going to need to do is hop over to our AI agent. Now we're in platform.openai.com. All we're going to do is do chat and then we're going to click create here. Now, this is going to be a little bit different depending on the platform that you're using. So bear with me. But typically you'll find somewhere under integrations or tools, the ability to click add and then you can add an MCP server. You'll have lots of different options, but we can do this by clicking add new. And then we're going to add in a URL, a label, and an authentication key. Now, for different platforms, each one's a little bit different for setting this up. If you go to the help doc and scroll down, you'll see that with your first step, we have this little bit of code. So if you're using a platform like maybe Cursor that doesn't have access to somewhere to add an MCP server directly, even though most AI platforms do, you can use this piece of code. But what we're gonna do is we're going to just get our information from this code, such as our URL. We're going to throw this in here. Then we can throw in a label, which isn't gonna matter. We'll say GHL MCP server. And then we need an authentication token slash API key. Now, how do we get this? So what we need to do is we need to hop over to our sub account. Then we can scroll down to settings. Then you'll find at the bottom private integrations, and then we can click create new integration. Then we can type in MCP server and then click next. And then we want to select our scopes. Now, these are the required scopes that we have to have for our private integration token. We have view and edit contacts, view and edit conversations, conversation messages, opportunities, calendars and events, locations, payments, custom fields, and forms. Once we've added some or all of those scopes, then we can go ahead and click create. Then you are going to get access to an API token. Right here, we need to copy this. So of course, make sure you don't lose it and make sure you don't share it with anybody you don't trust. Now we're going to take this token and go over to our AI agent, and then we will paste our access token there. Then we can click connect. Then just like that, you'll see that it has access to all of the different pieces of our sub account that we said it could have access to. So we'll be good to go there. And then we can just click add. Then back in our agency, once we X out of that screen after we copied our token, we can go back and we can see our private integration here. If you wanna make multiple tokens for multiple agents to do different things, feel free to, but when we go back to OpenAI, now you can see our tool has been added. And now just like that, using those tools that we already have available, we can get access to that information from high level using our AI agent, which is absolutely awesome. Now, the moment you've been waiting for, let's test this thing. So we know we have access to see calendar events, see tags, get contacts, things like this. Let's play around and see what information we can get. I know I have some test contacts in this sub account, so let's see if we can get some information about one of them. Now I'm going to ask this for the email of contact test 27. 
Let's see if it can get access to it. It'll call from our MCP server. Then we can approve this request. Without further ado, let's test this thing. So we have access to our MCP server. We can see it as access to calendars, to contacts, to everything that we need within that private integration token. I also gave it some extras, but that doesn't really matter. Now we're going to ask it about one of our contacts because we know we can get contacts, update contacts and get information. We also know it has access to location IDs. So what we're going to do is we're going to ask it, what is the email of a specific contact? We'll just give it the name of the contact. We'll give it the location ID is this. And just like that, there's that information straight from our CRM. We can go back and as you can see, test 27, there is that email. Okay, so this is super cool. I wanna play around with it just a little bit more. Let's ask it how much revenue and open opportunities there are in this location. See if you can get access to this. Okay, so I'm playing around with it a little bit more. I'm gonna ask it about opportunities that were lost. It's gonna go through an entire thinking process as an agent searching our opportunities searching for opportunities in 2024. I'm gonna mess around just a little bit more asking it, do I have any appointments for next week? Just like I would ask a personal assistant, right? It'll ask for my user ID. Obviously this can be saved. It's asking for my user IDs. Obviously this could be saved. So I'll say for the user, Andrew George. So I can ask it about appointments for my calendars, different users. There's so many cool things that we can do with this. Obviously there's going to be usage involved with tokens and such, depending on what platform you're using. But with the high level MCP server, this opens up a world of opportunities using AI agents. I could talk for days about this, but the best thing you can do is go and try it yourself. So go create account with platform.openai or go to another AI agent system of your choice in order to create an MCP server connection with high level and your location. And I wanna hear all about the really cool things that you do. So be sure to leave a comment on this video, share it with other high levelers, get building and if you have any questions feel free to leave a comment as well can't wait to see what you guys do as always this has been Andrew and thank you very much for watching